Hey guys, um, so if you didn't read by the title, we're going to be talking about these two formats here, RISC and CISC. As it reads by the title, we are going to be talking about um, RISC and CISC construction sets. So first of all, let's talk about RISC because it's the easiest one to understand. Um, so with RISC, we have a reduced instruction set computer. Now, what does that mean? So simply put, um, it's usually not instructions that take up multiple uh, lines of ROM. That's the idea behind it. Uh, so usually it's, it's a complex compilation because there's a lot of instructions inside of a reduced instructions at computer. Like if you wanted to say load value to B, you would have to first load to the accumulator, and then you have to load it to that register. So it would take two in two lines of code versus what's the next one is going to be. Um, it's probably going to blow your mind, but yeah, we're going to talk about that next. So uh, I mentioned tons of instructions in a program, loads of instructions per program in a risk-based instruction set. Um, pipelining is significantly easier in a reduced instruction set computer um, so that's a big benefit of that so well let's let's go on to the next um, slide so in CISC it is a complex instruction set um, it's a lot easier compilation because there's a lot less to compile uh, pipelining is significantly difficult significantly more difficult because usually you have to have more stages um, in the pipelining and it won't benefit as much um, per instruction but complex instruction set is a lot easier for the programmer it tons much tons more easy that, that that's that's not English whatever um, and there's little amounts of instructions per program. As I mentioned, it's a lot easier for the programmer. So, um, and usually these will come in, uh, you'll have multiple instructions in each instruction. So multiple uh, functions going on within mul uh, one clock cycle, or it's gonna take up multiple clock cycles is what I'm trying to say. So usually sys instructions, they're gonna take a variety of amounts of uh, instruction sets or in um, clock cycles because each instruction usually takes up more than one uh, clock cycle which um, is a lot nicer for the programmer but also there's a lot more circuitry that has to be done within the CPU but um, yeah if you like this video then go ahead and hit that like button and if you want to subscribe um, I'm going to be starting to slow down on the amount of videos that I make because, uh, well, it's a lot to keep up with. And also, I want to try to come out with more high quality videos. So, I'm probably going to start re releasing them not one every day, but maybe one every other day because that would give me some time to actually prepare for the next video. And yeah. So, you know, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to start slowing down the video output because uh, I want to make more high quality videos and I will see you in the next video. Bye!